Hi everybody, on today's edition of Nige Electricals, we are going to be talking about uh, line diagrams. Uh, we are going to be talking about how to read line diagrams, how to identify components, uh, and how to use line diagrams to trace faults in an electrical design, especially in an electric panel. So, uh, have your seats and listen through. So in this tutorial, the approach I use is to number every sections of the diagram with numbers. However, the first one we are going to be talking about is the first one with number one. Uh, boldly written on there is number one. If you look at the left hand side, first to read a line diagram, you need to start usually from the top of the drawing or from the left to the right. Please take note, line diagrams are usually started from the left, are usually being read from the left to the right or from the top downward. Please take note of this. It is uh, a very common requisite when you are reading line diagrams so you don't make mistakes. The first thing you do is to start from your left. Now, the first thing you see which is numbered one is what incoming supply 400 volts 30 phase 4 wire 50 hertz fuse 32 amps this is an incoming supply in the panel what it says is that it is 400 volts look at this very well you see that it is 3 phase 4 wire 500 hertz fuse the 3 phase is L1 L2 and L3 it is not indicated on the incoming supply at the moment but when we go further in this our research in this our line diagram reading we will fully understand what this diagram is actually talking about so if you understand this to mean a three phase four wire 500 hours fused 32 amps in some on some occasions you may not uh, necessarily find uh this boldly written on the diagram how you get to know is that you go back to the table of content possibly there may be some uh, important informations regarding the diagrams what each diagram stands for because on some occasions say for e plan some diagrams are peculiar to some industries to some companies some company may decide to say this is what we want to designate our fuel suite it's on many occasions looks similar but the same, it may not be the same for every diagram. However, for those using a plan, it may be the same. If you go around on uh, on the internet, say you are just a learner uh, in line diagrams, you are going to see different components and how they are being worked, how, and the diagrams for each component may differ from one platform to another. So what you just do is to try to understand what every line diagram is talking about what every electrical design is actually pinpointing so the number one is uh what a three phase four wire what that one is saying is that it has l1 l2 l3 red yellow and the blue face if you understand that and the last wire on there is the word the x the three phase four wire so we continue from there yes on the point map two uh is an isolator first off i forgot to tell you that the four three phase four wire uh is the l1 l2 l3 and the neutral uh followed by the heads on on the on the uh mark two which is an isolator uh you know we have got different types of isol isolators but this particular one should be the one attached uh, to the one attached to a panel either inside or outside there are some that are inside uh, like the one I'm showing you and there are some that you find outside the panel the prominent ones that are found outside the panels are the ones found outside the panels uh, where which you can easily turn off and on the panel so from the isolator uh, is L1, L2, L3. That isolates the power, the panel from the power source. When it is turned on, it gives, it energizes the 
panel when it is turned off it uh, uh, isolates the panel on the point mark 3 is a 25 amp circuit breaker it's a three pole 25 amp circuit breaker you can see that it takes its power directly from the wire that leaves the isolator or you can say just from the terminal coming directly from the terminal that is being fed from the isolator it takes its power from there then supplies comes to this uh, circuit breaker if you check very well it leads to the access module nothing is being told about it that is to tell you that five cable five six seven fits a particular component again now look at the circuit breaker of uh mag 4 it's a cb20 4 amp circuit breaker that is a two pole circuit breaker it takes a uh, line l1 life l1 which is the red and it takes neutral which is what n designated as n that is it take life from cable one and cable four now take a little bit downward the l1 cable uh, coming from the cb20 fills one side of the circuit uh the panel thermostats which is designated number five and comes down to the one number six the panel eater the neutral comes to the panel eater as, uh, from 801 cable fills the one side of the panel eater then uh the thermostats the other side of the thermostat fills the other side uh the one side of the panel heater which is a 802 cable feeding the panel heater and uh, number six and 801 cable coming into the panel heater as well as number uh, number that is the neutral and the life entering what the entry the panel heater point mark seven is the uh, circuit breaker two four arms uh it feeds the power supply unit uh which is mag a 24 volt power psu 10 ampere the power supply units it feeds the uh the cb2 4 ampere mark 7 feeds the power supply unit if you look at the cable that comes into the power supply unit it is mag 4 21 and 4 the 21 if you go up to your little right uh, to your right you see that it is uh, coming from the neutral go to your left the uh, uh, the topmost and your right from the isolator you see that it is the neutral which is marked four then coming down again to eight the power supply unit the output of the power supply unit which is plus or minus comes into another circuit into two circuit breaker from 21 14 and the heads if you look very well we are going to see point Eight, mark the uh, the power supply unit mark eight, uh, and the plus cable, which is mark twenty two, goes to CB two one, which I have marked nine, CB two one, which I have marked nine as well. It comes into CB two two, which is a six ampere breaker, and it comes down into something else. We are going to be discussing that some other time. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Do have a nice day. Bye.